Here's something people don't want to talk about, crutch loadouts. You don't know what a crutch loadout is? Well, a crutch loadout refers to items that, when used in conjunction with each other, forms a near unpreventable shitstorm of toxic salt seasoning comparable only to the love child of Hitler and Satan himself. If that description didn't give you a basic idea of what to expect, we've got a long way to go. Now before Gunmetal, this list of crutches would have been largely extended, but Valve did actually get around to fixing some of the absurd weapons at the time, so in a way, the list was heavily neutered down to what I've been most annoyed by nowadays. Anyways, you're probably sick of hearing me talk, so let's go ahead and cut to some other footage where you can also hear me talk. This is kind of an inherent flaw with the Spy as a class, you shouldn't be allowed to just walk into danger and get out. It's supposed to be like, oh, you're stealthy. You convince them that you're on their team, and then you go into them and murder them all. But no, nowadays, you can just be like, hey, fucking whatever, we'll take the teleporter. Kill some people, do whatever, stab some stuff. Not really my problem. It's like, oh, well, you died, right? Well, no, I completely took out a, a nest. And I'm about to come completely take out a nest again. That's an inherent flaw with the design of this. You can do so much shit and get away with it just because you got a dead ringer, which pretty much just lets you get out of jail free. You have the Letron Jair, which just lets you do jack fucking shit, die instantly. The Letron Jair, which just lets you shoot him three times and get all of your cloak back. There's no point to it. And don't even get me started on the Spy Sickle, which is basically a direct upgrade in terms of pub play. All you have to do, like even if you're on fire, whatever, you're gonna be using your revolver anyways. How often are you going to go for a knife kill anyways in this game? Never. You're literally never going to get a knife kill, so don't even bother with it. That's basically just how this set works. It's like, it's not necessarily a great set altogether, but it's great for pissing other people off. Like me, I'm getting pissed off right now. Here's the plan. Disguise as a teammate, and it'll be like, oh look, I'm an actual dumbass pyro, I'm going to run straight at ya. Okay, no, 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 normal pyros do do that, so no one's going to look back once I walk through them. Except for maybe that one demo man who religiously looked back. But for the rest of these guys, I just walk over here. Guarantee I can just shoot this guy. And, and then just get out of here. Not my problem anymore. It's so easy to just be a complete dickhead that like doesn't care about walking into his deathbed. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Even if I took damage here, I could have just slapped my right click and gotten out. Just not gonna, not gonna spy check the very clearly walking forward soldier. <laughs> that was a complete absolute face stab, but whatever, I'll take it. Free, free damage for me. And if we move on to our next part, oh wait, I have a new Maras missing. Fuck you guys, I'm gonna go do this. If you have 125 health, trust me, you're not going to survive this, and if you have more than 125, you're not going to survive the second shot. And if you're standing near a cliff, I can guarantee you're not going to survive it. Again, like, it, that conceivably should have been a much fairer fight. It should have been, like, him hitting me a couple times, me hitting him a couple times. But no, it's just one-shot city on everyone. I guess it wasn't a one-shot, that was like a two-shot. Two shots, still unfair, even for a scout. And I know a lot of these clips I tend to sort of cut down and edit out the parts where I die or whatever. I'm not dying with this set. I'm, I don't even need the Criticola, because Criticola, who uses that? I mean, come to think of it, I guess that's where the Criticola comes in handy. It's basically insurance that if you didn't believe before you were going to kill him with one shot, don't worry. They're definitely going to die now because you got that extra, what, like 25% damage? That's insane. For a force of nature, which already is basically a one shot, you're just confirming the fact that you're going to kill him. Don't turn around or anything. Trust me, there's no such thing as an enemy behind you in this video game. Doesn't help that it's upward where I can basically slip through the cracks and just run like a bitch because I don't feel like fighting soldiers underground. They tend to win. Unless I can flank them, which apparently I can't do. You're going to charge me? I I would love if you charged me. I can knock you back. That's how the force of nature works. That's another part. You... Knockback is probably the least fun mechanic to ever fight in this game. The ability to be knocked off course. It's, it's the same reason I'm going to be talking about other things on the list later, like the degreaser. You shouldn't just be allowed to whack around your enemy like they're a beanbag. It's not fun to fight. I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't like this set, but it's so fun to use! 
Later. Later. You're getting tossed around like a freaking ragdoll. Do something about it. Oh wait, you can't. Did I just duplicate the medics? I just made double medics. I'm a wizard. I'm magic. And the, the duplicate is stronger than the original. Hey. Hey, 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 and goodbye. I'm gonna make them all explode themselves. Please, I <laughs> didn't think it would actually pull it off, but the dude pulled himself out of there. I don't even know what words I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I like this. I like this weapon. <laughs> so what defines a crutch loadout is basically anything that is not fun to fight against when you're using stock. Which is pretty much what the tank buster set is- OH MY GOD! Which is pretty much what this set is. If you saw it before gunmetal, you would basically get 15 health- Oh my god. Per person that you hit with it. Nowadays, you can only get up to about 20 health per attack with it, no matter how many people you hit. To tack on to that, you also have like extra 20 health from the battle line, and then when you deploy it, you can just go balls deep into your, the entire enemy team. Don't even have to worry about taking damage, which is why it makes it so unfun to fight against, because how do you kill something that just keeps getting all of its health back, and then has a ton of extra health, then it takes no damage? I know you could argue that, it, well, it's like a set, so it's supposed to be like, have good synergy, right? It's supposed to work well together. There's, there's a line, and I gotta say, this thing works too well together. Almost, almost feels like there's some sort of specific issue with the set, but there's really not. The fact of the matter is, it's just not fun to fight. Anything that gives you health back, it's not fun to fight. Just like it's not fun to fight meat shot scouts. There's so many opportunities when you're using the set to just jump into them or spam them with damage, and the second you feel like slightly scared, you can just jump out of there. Right now, I know there's tons of animals in the cage just trying to kill me. I don't have to worry about it. I can just jump in, hit them a couple times. I still have tons of health. God damn. You should not normally be able to just keep getting all your health back. Please, I want you to try and melee me. It's not going to work, even if it did. I would have taken you out with me with those explosive rockets that, if you didn't notice, I kind of bring around with me. There's so many reds. None of them are going to look at me, though. You know, you know the soldier with his cloak ability, his ability to look invisible to the enemy gamers. I have no, I have nothing. You know. Okay, medic, please heal me. I'm gonna wait for ammo and do something. Man, medic, medic, help me! <laughs> oh, 45. Would you like to spawn camp with me? Come on, come on, all the scouts. Let's gather around their doors, tell a campfire story, and just absolutely spawn camp the living daylights out of them. What goes up must come down. I think, I think I'm talking too much at this point. You get the idea. Why are you coming in backwards? He was going backwards, swinging his axe. Just let me, just back up a tiny bit so I can blow my doodle horn. Okay. Mm. All right, let me rephrase a little bit. There's not as much opportunity to just completely like one man army the other team, but one-on-one -on -one fights. You're still probably gonna win all of them with this weapon. I don't know, maybe it's time to just face the music and just like admit I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. Because it seems pretty obvious at this point, every time I'm like, oh, there's just so much spawn potential damage, I just die. I die instantly every time I talk! The only conceivable argument I could come up with is just like, oh, well, I don't have a team backing me up or anything. But that's how I feel like every pub. It's just like inherent with the nature of pubs. I use the word inherent again. I'm overusing that word so much. Whatever, I killed your medic. Fuck you guys. I'm out of here. <laughs> if you use any of these weapons, you deserve to be maliciously lynched in your sleep with a gardening hose. <laughs> Whoa, looks like someone trying to have fun. As the lead enforcer of the fun police, I'm gonna have to shut this uh, organization down and just make sure you're all having an absolutely terrible time. That is basically the nature of this weapon set. It's got great synergy, but it is the degreaser, which basically lets you make your secondary, your new primary. Wow, you really need health, bait. Any weapon that gives you the ability to knock your enemies around, like have full frontal control of where they stand, is not good. And then you pair it up with a weapon that lets you do more damage when they're in the air. 
and then you have another weapon which lets you throw them into the air. Then you have one weapon that can just throw back anything they shoot. I should be dead right now, but no, we have Uber Charge. I don't. I did not even anticipate talking for this long because I, I figured I would have died by now. I did have a medic, so you know, point given. I should not have been alive. Whatever, we won it. Now originally the pyro was not able to use the reserve shooter, it was only meant for the soldier. But later on they just figured, hey let's give it to the pyro because he can throw people up in the air. Didn't really end well when you consider the soldier has to work very hard to get people up in the air with like knockback from a rocket. Pyro does not have to work hard, like in the slightest, to accomplish such a task. If you use this set, you know who you are, you know what you're doing. You're not playing this game because you think it's fun to strategize. You're playing this game to piss someone off. I've learned that through experience. The only people I ever see using this set are people who know just how unfair it is to fight. But they do it anyways. Mini crits? Doesn't matter. You're still going to die from two shots and it's not like you can kill me anyways. I guess I'm not in much room to judge people that use this set considering the fact that I am indeed using this set. But again kind of have to get footage of it and I don't know anyone that would ever fall so low on the scale to be willing to record footage of this for me. Maybe there is. I don't know. You expect that to work. It's not going to work. Was that a part of your master plan? You're dead now. Later, dude! Oh, no, 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 no. Sir, you're not getting out. You're gonna stay and pay the crime and punishment. Or or just fly away, I guess. Come follow Funk along for some skilled TF2 gameplay commentary sponsored to you by whatever company's willing to give me money. I don't know. Let's make it like triple digits. Just hit me up. Email is funkisacella at hotmail.com. Chicken